Hey guys, this is Dibbles. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on a uh, reflective decals, dude. Re yeah, you heard me. Reflective decals. Yeah, they're going to pop, they're going to shine, they're going to look great. So let's check it out and see how this goes. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a look at this paint job a little closer than we normally would. Uh, what we see, I've, I've picked a two-tone paint job. Uh, these are the settings I've got for it. I'll kind of explain what's going on and why. Uh, so the hue saturation, um, the hue, I should say, is set up at about uh, 0.49. That's a pretty nice little light blue. And then I increased the saturation right on it. Did the same thing with the highlights down there. I picked a darker blue, turned the uh, saturation way up, but I kept the brightness on for the low side on uh, the brightness for the bottom. That way when you look down the car, it looks dark. When you look at the car, it looks bright. So it really pops off that two-tone, and that's what we want. All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be uh, looking at uh, masking off this car. So what I really want to do is, okay, so we're going to get in a uh, vinyls here. Uh, let's see. We're going to start with a mask. We'll get that going. All right, all right, here's where it's going to get fun, guys. So what we're going to do is going to get this all masked off. Uh, like I usually do, I use the uh, same old primitive shapes. Go in there, grab one, come on out, get it masked off. Then what you want to do is you want to fade it down to about 80%. Or, point, you know, 80.00 right there. And then going to come in and grab Liberty Walk and then uh, we'll shrink it down we'll get this all dialed in real quick and then and then we'll shrink it down so it fits this isn't even the cool part yet guys this is this is pretty basic right here but this is the cool part As you can see, the Liberty disappears as the car turns. It becomes brighter as you face it. Disappears. Yeah. Now you can do that with any decal you want to design, any kind of paint job you want to design. This is a this is a great way to make your um yeah to make it pop, to make it just uh to show. Alright, hang on, and we'll get busy on getting uh, another decal up here. See, it doesn't have to be a, um, a, you can turn it into a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? A mask. You can turn it into a mask, even if it's a regular, um, icon or decal. Alright guys, let's take a look at this car. Uh, we're going to do quite a few more things uh, here before we're done. Um, let's take a look at how that just pops. Isn't that something? Yep. So, on to the next thing. Alright, yeah. Let's get it done. Yeah, that does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, I just love the way this pops. Look at that. Drives by. Boom. There it is. Alright. That is awesome. So, if you guys got any questions about that process or anything, leave it in the comments below. I'll be happy to uh, try and get back to you. Uh, the other thing is, is if uh, you like what you're seeing, feel free to hit the like button. If you like the uh, the program, then feel free to subscribe because there's going to be more. 
All right, let's get to work on the top of this car. Now, the thing is, is that we set the uh, opacity at around 80%. So make sure that when you're doing your skin for the rest of the car, that you take it down to 80%. Because you want it to match up uh, tent-wise with the rest of the car, that way you don't have any lines popping out like you do on the front quarter panels. Uh, if you look on the left side of the car, uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, it looks good over here. We'll take a look at the left side here in a minute. But, I would say it looks good. There's no lines. It's perfect. I'll save it. guys one of my favorite things to do we're going to come in and see what uh, all the different colors kind of look like so what you can do is best with the hue you can change your colors through there or you can come down to the secondary hue and change it there also I kind of like this deep purple I think that just pops I think I'll do one of these in the future it's a really awesome concept uh, I might put a little more time and effort into fine-tuning this build. It's, uh, it's, it's like, I really like how the uh, decals pop. So you can see the lines right there um, on the uh, wheel well. You can see where the tent uh, from the top is different from the other side. So as long as you uh, do the uh, flip side, Everything should be good, but like I said, these are all um, custom made. So when you do the uh, insert all from right to left, and you'll have to go in and uh, flip those guys back. Uh, I'll show you when the time comes. Basically, we're just gonna doll this up a little bit, keep it uh, keep it legit and going, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll just keep it rocking. Okay guys, so now we're at this point where we're going to have to do some flipping, uh, inserting from uh, right to left or left to right, whatever it is, you guys get it. Anyway, flipped, ta-da, now everything's backwards. Now we got to get in here and manually flip each one of the custom decals. I wish they would have a way of doing that uh, in the future. Uh, updates and whatnot that, uh, that they get some sort of a, an auto flip 
Yeah, that'd be sweet, right? Okay, so let's take a look here um, at getting this taken care of. And uh, I'll get back to you here in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna just mess around with this real quick to get it straightened out. And uh, we're getting close to the end of the video. I think I've gotten most of the uh, hard parts out there for you guys to absorb and uh, progress in what you're building in your own garage. That is the purpose of what I do. Yeah, and just to help the, the lone guy out there who's just trying to figure this stuff out. It's super complicated. I am in no means an expert, and I am not claiming to be one of those guys. All I can do is teach you what I've learned so far, and that's what uh, that's what Dibbles is doing. So we're going to keep on doing that until I run out of things to do, and then I'm going to have to learn more. So that's how that works. So it looks like we're getting close here. Try and keep this uniform. Yeah, we're just gonna get this back in over here. Get this tucked in nicely. And we should be good. Alright guys. We're looking at a finished product here. Not that I would dress this car up uh, any more or less. I think it's uh, just about right right now. I think you could do a tons of uh, tons more things to it to dress it up. Oops, I forgot the bumper. I'll work on that. But the main idea is out there, guys. Let's just try and absorb it. If you got any questions that I didn't cover. Uh, please leave it in the comments down below. I'll be happy to try and answer that. I try to keep an eye out for you guys. Um, also, uh, in the future, if you do like the program, uh, feel free to subscribe. It greatly helps out. You know the drill. Uh, also, throw a like out there, if you will. That would be awesome. Um, that'll help me with the algorithm. That lovely algorithm. I'm trying to get on my feet again. It's a little tough these days. Alright guys, you guys take care, and we'll see you soon in the next video. Alrighty, later.